So, hey everyone, I know it's been a while, I guess I kind of went through a bit of a phase, then I had computer issues, I think it's been around a month now since I did a proper video, I do have two that require editing, I'm going to try using my friend's little PC, it's just a little laptop, travel laptop that he's borrowed that he's loaned me for now. Um, my computer's currently in for repairs, but I really am sorry I haven't done any recently. I guess I just, yeah, went through a bit of a phase and then when I felt like doing it again, I had PC issues, so yeah. Anyway, I just sort of do a bit of a quick video and also to say that I am really sorry about how long it's been since I last did a video. But I am planning on getting back to them now. And I'm looking forward to it. But yeah, I thought that I would just show you a few of the things that I've gotten recently. And yeah, um, I'll start off there and I will do flip throughs of these later on. I won't worry tonight because I'm just recording this on my mobile right now but yeah as you can see here on the top I did end up getting my Koinor Magic Multicolored Pencils I am still learning how to use these I haven't probably worked it out yet so this will probably hold off on a video till after I sort of work them out more because I'm still trying to work out how to use them without getting the colours all mixed up and muddy. But yeah, if I can get the lid off, I'll just show you the inside quickly. So it just comes with the, like a little, hang on, Let's see if I can get it to focus, yep, there we go. Comes with a little quality guarantee card thing. And then just a bit of an instruction leaflet with the colours and just very short instructions. So, yeah, just in different languages. And then, as you can see, it's bubble wrap. The tin did come a little dented on a few of the corners, but at least I received it. And these are the pencils. They're really nice. I've gotten some working slightly, but I'm still learning, so I'm not going to be doing a video using these just yet till I actually have them down pat because I'm not touching my colouring books at these with at all with these just yet. These are just practicing tests with like circles and stuff like that. So yeah. Next book, I posted an image of this online. It's The Flower Year by Leia Julie, I think it is. It's hardback and it's got this pretty little internal ribbon. So I'll see if I can get that to open up the thing just so that I can show you. Yeah, so it's like a mossy green, sort of olive green coloured ribbon. Probably can't see that properly with the light from the phone. It looks a lot more, it's a lot, sort of, it's a lighter sort of olivey moss colour green. But it's not showing up properly with the phone. So yeah, we've just got the spine and the back. And it's got like little rhymes and verses and the paper quality feels really good. Yep, this was... Out of my own funds, I'm planning on, whenever I eventually get it done, gifting it to my mum who really loves gardening and gardens. It's for, <laughs> if that'll happen anytime soon, I don't know because I haven't done anything in this yet. But yeah, we'll get there. Next one, I'll just bring this down, is Menue de Boho. I think it is. I actually found it very hard to find this and it wasn't the cheapest. I ended up getting it off eBay because I really wanted a copy of the book because 
the images inside are so cute. I'll just show one. See, this is a double page spread. It's so cute with the cats and the mermaid tails and stuff like that. I just, I really love the images of this book and really wanted a copy. So yeah, I finally got a copy of that. It is the Japanese version, but it was quite costly. I ended up having to find it on eBay Australia. But I have it now, so I don't need to buy it anymore. So yeah, that's just a really cute and gorgeous book. I just, I really like it. And there's like these little postcardy or ornament things on here that you can use. But yeah, so I will be doing flip throughs of these in the future. I also got a few books from Penguin Random House Australia. So I don't know if I've done flip throughs of any of these. I will have to check and see if I've done a flip through of one of them. I probably won't do another, but um, I will credit that book in any future colour alongs that I've got to do. I've still got to finish one, the background in one of the Magical Jungle ones. So I will get there and it will be done. <laughs> it's just time and everything, but I'm really excited to be back. I think I really just burned myself out on it before with trying to do things constantly. And I'm just going to do it more for enjoyment and fun and to help you guys along from now on. But yeah, so we got The Magical Christmas by Lizzie Mary Cullen from um, oh, Penguin Random House Australia. And yeah, that's the back of it. I think this one will be really awesome to do around Christmas time just because it's a lot of sort of... It's very intricate, but it's sort of based around Christmas festivities and... It's just really nice. And I like how it's kind of different too. With her drawing style. Yes. Another one that I got from Penguin Random House Australia was the second copy of Magical Jungle. I <laughs> am actually quite happy to still have this second copy. I do need to send one out to a young lady who I was going to send a copy to that I sort of know in real life because she didn't have any and I still haven't got that done yet so yeah um that's pretty bad of me but I will get there but yeah so we got a second copy of Magical Jungle I don't know if this is different to the other one but it seems like the Australian version could have a lot more gold on it, but I'm not sure I will have to do a comparison to that when I do a bit of a flip through of it. It could be the same, I don't know, but it's showing as black in this light, and just the back of that. I'm very happy to have a second copy of this book. Might be my imagination too, but it feels like it's thicker, but I could just be imagining things there. And final book is The Magical City by Lizzie Mary Cullen. This is again from Penguin Random House Australia. So thank you very much to them. I really, really appreciate it. And yes, so it's another... It's very sort of intricate, but it's interesting the way she sets out the landscapes and features and it's just really, I find these very interesting with the styles and I'm wondering how ink tents might go in them. I have seen people use ink tents in these books, but yeah, I'm curious as to that because I still need to do a tutorial on ink tents pencils as well. So yeah, I'll get there. And then finally, sorry, just have to lean to get it. I just wanted to show you a bit of an update. Oh, this this is my personal picture, but I am considering doing um, a colour along in this book. This is Semjala Snova by 
Tommy's Love Tommy. And as some of you who follow my Facebook group page may know, you've probably been, um, you'll know that I was working on this first image here. I will probably go back and finish colouring and see these butterflies and just these front page samples so that I can sort of have a pretty book. I kind of want to work through um, page by page from front to back with this book. But this is a really gorgeous and very detailed book. I think I did a flip through. Uh, no, I'm certain I did a flip through of this. But yeah, I thought I would show you a bit of an update of where I'm up to with this. Right now, I have finished the door, these sandy, mossy rocks. As I'll, I'll sort of zoom in if I can without... I'll remove the glad wrap so that it's not shining. But as you'll see here, I've created mossy rocks. And then... Yeah, the sands that we've got the shadows, our light painted leaves here on this um, wall is more mossy walls kind of thing. So I created that to be mossy and tried to get the light reflecting on it the right way. Same with the doors and the wall areas. This is like, I made it so it looks sort of like intricate kind of carvings. On there using similar colours and some black and that for shadows and with this image I've got to repeat the moss wall over this side work up here and then these heart bits um, the vine bits around there I'm thinking of doing the same as these flower viney bits on the intricate wall detail bit and then I've to work out what colour I'm going to do the butterflies yet and yeah that'll probably finish this off once we've done all these details up here I'm not sure I might colour over some of those details I might not still got to work that out yet but yeah so I just wanted to show a bit of an update on that I'll probably work on it tomorrow a bit I'm actually it's kind of exciting sort of I guess not having my computer here because or doing this because it allows me to get back into doing what I really enjoy doing and it's just yeah it, it'll be good when I have it back for editing videos because my friend's PC seems to take forever to load up the movie maker files because they're all recorded by camera and then imported and everything but yeah I'm really sort of glad to be getting back into the colouring again because yeah I did sort of lose a bit of interest for a bit there but I think that was also because I was kind of burning myself out trying to constantly do videos and with the editing it takes so long and so I'll probably just I guess take it a bit easier do things as I can because I really want to get back into it again because it's something I love and it makes me feel good and yeah it just really helps improve how I'm feeling and my mood and just all of that stuff so yeah I'm looking forward to getting back into it and doing videos let me know if you do want me to do an image from Zemjala Snova sometime I do have to finish review copy images first I'm currently working on two one from Fairy Tales by Emily Little Oberg and the other is Millie Marotta's Wild Savannah Lion which I think I've done five or six parts of. Um, part one of the second one I have to edit yet. But yeah, so I'm kind of going to sort of get back to just spending some time with my personal colouring images because I've got like 20 or more work in progresses and get back to the videos and stuff and it'll be great. I'm, I'm actually really happy to be back. I did find that I missed doing the colouring and 
doing my creative stuff. I just, yeah, went through a complete phase where I just kind of gave up on it all. And, yeah, I'm just happy to be back because this is what I love doing and I really enjoy it. And I know it helps you guys and that makes me happy too. I just need to, I guess, believe in myself more. But, yeah, so, yes, I will just. I use Glide Wrap because I find it takes pencil colour off less than the other. That's why I've got Glide Wrap in there. And I've stuck it all together when I've pulled it off, so I'll fix it up shortly. Because I've accidentally stuck it all together. But yeah, so I'm going to leave that there with the few things that I have received recently. I do have other colouring books that I haven't yet done flip-throughs of in my collection that I do need to do flip-throughs of and all of that stuff so I will <laughs> get there with it all. I'm going to I'm looking forward to starting it all up again and yeah so I will See you around. Bye.